Solutions use ridicule and insults to mask their vulnerability. The result is that we laugh at tragedy and we mock disability. Daria Robinson knows that firsthand. She is the president and co-founder of the St. Lucia Cerebral Palsy Association, along with Diane Leos. We undervalue kindness. And you know, kindness, what does it take to offer assistance? What does it take to smile? What does it take to um, just, you know, give a helping hand? Twelve years ago, she was one of hundreds of St. Lucian parents who felt alone because her child had cerebral palsy. But Robinson, along with Leos, knew they were not alone. It takes a village to raise a child, and so they formed the village, a community of parents of children with the same issue. It was the beginning of the St. Lucia Cerebral Palsy Association. Diane and myself, we are both parents of children who have the condition cerebral palsy, and we recognized that there was a lack of information, a lack of resources, and we wanted to ensure that we created a platform or we created um, a resource um, center quote unquote, um, but an area so that persons can reach out and learn a little bit more about CP. But also we felt that if we were a collective, if we could not just help our children, but help other children, then there's a possibility that everybody can, um, there'd be increased awareness of the condition and there'd also be increased in terms of services that are provided to the children and the families who have a child with CP. Dozens of children on this island have been identified as having cerebral palsy. Hundreds more may be languishing under the care of overburdened parents who don't even know there is a community out there dedicated to making life easier and happier for them and their children. For our database, currently we have 60 children who have cerebral palsy. We take them in as a family and share our resources with them. We have our contact details, so for anybody who's looking for that little extra community, little extra support, we provide that. Um, our details are provided from the Child Development and Guidance Center. Cerebral palsy has no cure. In fact, it is not the children who have cerebral palsy who need to be cured. It is the people around them who need to grow and evolve until they can see the value that these very vulnerable children bring to the world. Cerebral palsy is a lifelong condition, so the child is usually diagnosed between the age of 0 to 2. Um, so basically that's the time the parent, would be, the parent would be informed that their child has a condition called CP. And what you would find is that CP does not, um, it doesn't change over time, but then what you will do, and what, as a parent you discover that the different ways that it affects your child. So they could have speech impediment. They could have um, internal organs, challenges of their internal organs. So there are a lot of underlying issues to cerebral palsy. Very few people know what it's like to really care about someone or something that needs their attention and will not grow or even live without them. The child requires extensive care, especially in the severe cases. It's very difficult to find a caretaker who is um, capable of taking care of that child. So a lot of times the mother would have to um, if she's employed, she'll have to leave her employment and become a stay-at-home mom. So. The difficulty of caring for a child with cerebral palsy is a personal, social and economic problem. A single mother with a 150-pound teenager cannot just go to work or get on a bus with a child and go to the beach. It's a hard life, even with support. But for those who make the journey, there is a reward that most people don't value enough. I think the reward really comes from just day-to-day um the smile on your child's face pretty much at the end of the day what i have noticed or what i've seen with most parents at this stage is ensuring that their child is comfortable ensuring that the child is happy tomorrow the cerebral palsy association is asking st lucians to take a small step to valuing what they have rather than yearning for what they do not all st lucians have to do is wear something green Nisha, we're encouraging you to just show your support for persons living with the condition cerebral palsy. We're asking you to wear something green, a touch of green, and also asking you to hashtag um, CPA St. Lucia, or you can also tag our Facebook page. Caring for vulnerable persons makes us all better, stronger, more resilient people, more able to withstand shocks and hardships, and more prepared for the challenges and opportunities that are about to transform St. Lucia into something the generations before could only dream of. It makes us richer in a way that banks and businesses cannot measure. That is the gift that the weak give to the strong, the gift that makes us all stronger. For Choice News Now, I'm Jason Seafley. Thank <laughs> you.